Just a quick recap for the people who are watching this video for the first time. Because uh, I did a recent video where I did the gutter in, so I'll just show you what I did. I fit a new guttering, plastic PVC guttering, to the side of this barn. So it can catch all the rain water. And I don't know exactly how many square metres it is, but I'm just going up the ladders and I'll just show you the catchment area. So it's quite a big area, as you can see. So when it's raining quite heavy, that's going to catch a lot of rain. So this is designed to divert the rain from the uh, downpipe on, on the guttering. And it's got a lever here where if you opened it, it would just let the water continue all the way down. So normally on a house, you would have um, your downpipe leading into a drain. So this is where you would put the pipe in to divert it to where, wherever you want it to go. But um, all I'm interested in is having this closed off. So all the, all the water goes into the ICB tanks because any excess from the ICB tanks will uh, go through the top uh, down an hose pipe somewhere else because I haven't got a drain. So if you're using this at home and your water butt became full, you just pull the lever and then the water will just continue running down into your drain. Like I said, I don't need this and uh, I've actually put some glue in the bottom to stop any water coming out because um, I just want it closed off and uh, I thought this was the best way of uh, being able to do it. So I'm going to connect this to the outlet of the guttering. So there's a screw hole here. I can screw this into to make that secure. And then this piece of downpipe, I will screw into the outlet at the end of the guttering. I've got this fit in here that goes into this diverter. And I know if I push this piping on there, that's going to be a nice fit. So that's okay. So I just need to find a way to connect this to the lid of the ICB tank, which has this fitting here. I think it's about... Um, I think it's about an inch. Actually, I'm just looking at this now and thinking, can I actually take that off there? I've got this part here. Let's screw that. Take that out. Put that in there like that. Screw that onto the back. And as long as it's watertight, that's all that matters really, isn't it? Oh, might get away with that. Still going to need to fit um, a hose to this though. Uh, so that's something to think about. I even put some sealant in between there if I really wanted to. Uh, yeah, I think that's going to do the job. So I'm just going to cut uh, a length of this uh, water pipe now. Um, and I can get this fitted up. So what I realised, the um, I needed another part to fit onto there. So I've just had these come in. So originally, I, so originally I thought this was the right part, and then when I went to go and fit it, 
or I realised it was too small. So I had to buy this part. So I've got to put that onto there like this. And this is isolated at the moment, so the water can't come out until I pull that lever this way. So what I do, I just finish fitting them two now. These are spare now, I don't need these, but I'll keep them just in case I need them in the future. I think this one was off uh, Amazon or eBay. Um, I really don't know. Well, there, you know, there are websites where you can buy these things from, but if you go on a, a website that seems to deal with Pacific ICB tank parts, they tend to cost more money, but yeah, eBay and uh, Amazon, definitely the cheapest. Screwing nice into there. Really, I need that to be facing down when I finish screwing. Like that. So I'll fit the bottom one now. I'm thinking maybe if the rain is, if it isn't coming down into here too quick, it will give water time to go down the hose into here and naturally fill up. But um, I think we're just going to have to see what happens when it rains, see if it works. Um, these taps are actually designed for linking up ICB tanks, but the ones I've seen on the websites, the ICB tanks are in a line on the floor. But this, this is actually one on top of the other. So I've got to take that back out because I was cross-threading it. I don't want to... Uh... This one don't seem to be going in quite as well. I've got to take that off first. Some plumber's tape on here, I think it's just making it a little bit harder, but it's on there for a good reason, isn't it? To uh, make sure we got a really good fitting. So, I also bought a one inch tap connector, which isn't sort of standard really, uh, it's bigger than standard. And the standard one's three quarter of an inch. Um, hopefully, it'll fit this. That's the result. So I can now fit this to the overflow. So now where the breather is, I've got an hose pipe connector there now. So we can just plug an hose pipe in. So when it overflows, we can use the water somewhere else in the field or on the veg patch. Right, about one month later. And as soon as I put this rain harvesting system together, it didn't rain for about three weeks. You see the markers here, that's 300 litres, 400 litres, 500 litres, 600 litres, that, that bit's clear, so yeah, we're around about 600 litres at the moment, so we've still got 140 litres before it's full. If you listen carefully, you can hear the rain dropping uh, from the top of this tank into the bottom. Yeah, and it's working its way down this hose here. Yeah, and uh, gradually filling up. So I'm just hoping when it gets to the top, no rain's gonna come out the top there. So maybe in another video, if I happen to be up the yard, uh, I'll do a little video if it's uh, full. 
one vine harvesting system completed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.